Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on cyclic permutations in group theory of discrete mathematics course. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about product of two permutations with the two example problems. If anybody wants that video, please refer my YouTube channel, Dipela Srinivasa Rao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is the cyclic permutation and what is the cycle length and one example problem on cyclic permutation. First of all, we go for what is cyclic permutation. Let capital S be a finite set contains n distinct elements. S is a function mapping from S to S and also S is a permutation that can be defined on the elements of set S. Let it be possible to arrange only M elements of set S in a row in such a way that image of each element in the row is the element which follows it and image of last element is the first element in that row. The remaining n minus m elements images are unchanged. Then F is called as a cyclic permutation. Okay. So, for example, I am taking set S contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, therefore, N value is equal to 4. 4 elements are there in a set. Okay. So, I am taking M. So, M is nothing but only three elements. Okay. So, that the three elements are arranged in a row. Okay. Image of each element in the row is the element which follows it. That means, so one image is a three and the three image is two and the two image is a one. So, that means here a one image is three. Okay. 3 image is 2 and 2 image is 1. So, what is the last element in the row? 2. 2 image is the first element in the row. That is 1. 2 image is 1. 1 image is 3. 3 image is 2. 2 image is 1. The remaining n minus m elements. So, n minus m is nothing but 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1. What is the remaining element? 4. 4 image is also a 4. Okay. So, then it can be written as the permutation F can be written as so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, whatever the element in the given set that can be written in the first row of permutation F. Now, 1 image is 3. 1 image is 3. 3 image is 2. 3 image is 2. 2 image is 1. Okay. What is the four element 4 image? Same element. Because n minus m elements images are less unchanged. Okay. So, 4 image is 4. Okay. So, 1 image is 3, 3 image is 2, 2 image is 1 and the remaining element in the set is 4, 4 image does not change, that is the same element. Okay, so this is the uh, definition of uh, cyclic permutation. Okay, once again I am telling, let capital S be a finite set, it contains n distinct elements. S be a function mapping from S to S. S is a permutation that can be defined on the elements of set S. Let it be possible to arrange 
only m elements of set s in a row in such a way that image of each element in the row is the element which follows it that means one image is 3 because so 3 follows 1 3 image is 2 that means 2 follows 3 image of last element in the row is the first element in the row that means 2 image is 1 okay so in the set four elements are there in the row only three elements are there that is m is equal to 3 okay remaining elements that means m minus m that is equal to 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1 one element is there that is element 4 this element 4 image is also same okay that is 4 image is 4 okay now we have to write the permutation f according to this one f is equal to okay first i am writing all the elements of set s in a row okay next one according to this one one image is 3 okay first element is 1 so one image is 3 so therefore one image is 3 next three image is 2 three image is 2 next two image is 1 two image is 1 the remaining element is 4 in the given set that elements image is also same element that is 4 image of the last element is the first element image of each and every element in the row is the element which follows it okay so whenever Uh, yes, yeah, satisfies this condition. Then F is called as a cyclic permutation. Okay. Next, so this is the uh, cyclic permutation. How many number of elements are there in that cycle? Only three elements. So then, so cycle length, cycle length is equal to number of elements in that cyclic permutation. That is a three. So cycle length is equal to three. Next one, uh, cycle length of identity permutation is always one. Okay. So now we can go to the definition. Let S be a finite set having n distinct elements. Okay. F is a permutation defined on S. Let it be possible to arrange. Yum elements of set S in a row in such a way that image of each element in the row is the element which follows it. Image of the last element is the first element, and the remaining n minus yum elements images are left unchanged by yum. Then yum is called as a cyclic permutation. Okay, next one. Number of elements in a cycle is called as cycle length or length of a cycle. How many number of elements are there? Three elements are there. Therefore, length of the cycle or cycle length is equal to three. Next, cycle length of identity permutation is only one. Okay. So this is the simple definition of cyclic permutation. Now we can go for this example. Example. Let S is equal to set of one, two, three, four, five, six. So S is a finite set that contains how many number of elements? That is a six elements. Therefore, M is equal to six. And S is a permutation defined on S. So that is S is a function mapping from S to S. The permutation S can be defined in this way. The first row contains all the elements of set S. The second row contains images of each and every element in the first row. So that means one image is two, two image is three, three image is five, four image is four, five image is one, six image is six. Okay. Now find out the cyclic permutation of S. Okay, so now 
the fact we have take only m elements of set s m elements of set s that can be defined in a row in such a way that image of each element in the row is the element which follows it image of the last element is the first element the remaining n minus m elements images does not change okay how we are writing the cyclic permutation first i am considering element 1 okay one image is 2 yes one image is 2 now we can go for 2 two. two image is 3 okay now we go for 3 Three image is fine. Three image is fine. Then we can go for five. Five image is one. Five image is one. Okay. So I am taking how many number of elements? So n is equal to six. I am taking only four elements. Okay. The remaining n minus m. That means six minus four. That is equal to two. two elements it is does not change okay so these are the four elements i am taking that is m is equal to 4 i am taking element 1 one image is 2 yes go for 2 two. two image is 3 okay go for 3 3 image is 5 okay go for 5 5 image is 1 5 image is 1 One image is two. Two image is three. Three image is five. Five image is one. This is called as cyclic permutation. Okay. So the remaining elements. What are the remaining elements? That is n minus m six minus four. That is equal to two. So four and six. Image of four is four. That is no change. Image of six is six. There is no change. Only I am taking these. four elements from set s so image of each element in the row is the element which follows it that means one image is 2 two. two image is 3 three. three image is 5 image of last element is the first element that is image of 5 is a 1 the remaining n minus m n value 6 m value 4 6 minus 4 that is equal to 2 what are the remaining elements 4 and 6 so 4 image is also 4 6 image is also 6 okay the two elements image does not change so whenever you have satisfied this condition then it can be called as cyclic permutation of y yes. then cycle length okay cycle length or length of cycle is equal to number of elements in the row so this is the cyclic permutation how many number of elements are there four elements are there therefore cycle length or length of a cycle is equal to 4 okay so in this way we have to uh, draw the we have to write the cyclic permutation whenever set s and the permutation s given okay okay so whenever cyclic permutation is given from that one how to write the permutation s yes. okay so to find out the cyclic permutation s yes. to find out the uh, permutation s yes, first we have to write all the elements of set s yes, in the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay next one so here one image is okay from that cyclic permutation we have to find images of m elements only one image is 2 two. two image is 3 three. three image is 5 five. five three image is 5 five. five image is 1 the remaining elements images does not change that is the same element four image is four six image is six okay so from the permutation yes
how we are writing the cyclic permutation. When cyclic permutation is given, how we are writing the permutation? Yes. Okay. The same procedure we have to follow whenever the permutation F yes is given. We have to write the cyclic permutation. Suppose only cyclic permutation is given. So then from that one, how to write the permutation? Yes. Okay. So this is the procedure we have to follow. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So Dibbela Srinivas Rao. Thank you. Please share this video to your friends and classmates. Please like this video and please comment on this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. Dibbela Srinivas Rao.